All right, everyone. How are you guys doing? So, um, you guys, <laughs> I um, am getting stuff done today for me. Today is my day to um, just get my hair done and my nails done. I'm going to the spa and getting a facial and a back massage. I'm treating myself to lunch. And I'm going to go do some shopping and I'm going to get my son's birthday gifts. And as I'm doing all this running around and um, getting these things taken care of for me, I'm just thinking about how God created me to be a mother and how God created me to love my children and take care of my children. And by, by me taking care of myself, I'm being able to know that I'm doing God's work. By taking care of my own health and my own beauty, I'm not trying to fix what God has made mistakes on, but just trying to appreciate how he's made me. Yesterday I did a weight loss video. I'm on a weight loss journey. And God is just really telling me that, you know, I need to really just be thankful for the things he's given me and what he's doing in my life. And God is just really guiding me and showing me where he wants me to be and what he wants me to do with my life. Ever since my divorce, I really just felt down and out and didn't know what to do. And God is saying that he wants me to take care of myself and He wants me to appreciate how he's made me and what he's doing in my life and love myself as God loves me. You know, it doesn't matter if your health is horribly bad and you are, um, got a lot of health issues or you're um, money issues I mean God's really telling me I need to take the time to do things for myself and to love myself so that's what I'm doing today I'm here at the um, haircut place and I'm going to go in and do that right now and I will um, come back out and show you the new hairdo okay Got my hair cut done. I didn't do a style, but I um, got it cut where it's kind of inverted into towards my face. Shorter in the back. Feels so much lighter. I love it. Um, the lady who cut my hair was amazing. She was um, adopted, and we were talking about fostering and adoption. And she was telling me about her mom was a single mom who adopted. And uh, the court system kind of gave her a hard time with it. Um, they're okay with you being a foster parent, but they are not okay with you adopting. Because um, she said when she was adopted, she was eight years old. The court system kept telling her she needed to have um, both parents, you know. And she had a problem with men in her life. And she was like eight years old. And she's like, no, I don't want a two-parent household. I need a single mom household. And, um, you know, that's kind of 
where I'm at, where I would love to have a daughter um, because I have three boys and I would love to um, be able to get to a point where I can adopt, um, you know, a girl, maybe a boy and a girl or whatever. But, um, you know, even if I just become a foster mother, I think that would be okay also. Okay, so, um, God is just blessing me with the people to give me more information that I, um, can use. And, you know, as I'm going through my single mom life here, I'm going to see if I can put my phone up here and put my seatbelt on without my phone falling down. I think it's going to fall down. Okay, I'm going to go across the street, actually. See if I can get my nails done there. Okay, I'm not even going to get my seatbelt on, probably. Where is it I need to go? I think it's right across the street, somewhere here. really sure where I'm going to get my hair my nails done at but I'm gonna see if I can get across the street here and see if this is where I need to go um I should have went oh I can still go because they stopped at the light great great and this person isn't watching two women talking not paying attention Down here, I think, is where I'm going to get my nails done at. So we will see about that. <sighs> Today is a beauty day. You guys, I'm just a couple streets over from where I live, so I am doing all this stuff, not even having to go that far. I would like to shop, however, um, and I will probably be going to the next city over for that. So I'm just going to bring you along with me today. Enjoy the video. Hey, you guys. It's been a great day. I got my nails done. All natural. I was talking to the, um, the lady at the salon. And um, I got a pedicure, manicure, and a back massage. So that was really super nice. And I was talking to the lady and talking about how I want everything to be natural. And um, the other lady sitting next to me, of course, she's got the whole design with the diamonds in her nails and all this kind of stuff. Uh, I just thought it was kind of funny. We were just kind of going back and forth. But um, okay, so what's next? I guess shopping's on the list. So I'll bring you along with me. See if I can get something to eat too, because it's 1.30. I am getting kind of hungry, so let's see what we find out.
Well, you guys, I'm at um, Chick-fil-A and listening to Caleb worshiping. And um, the song had ended. Radio host. She says, that song just reminds me that you're good enough. Even if you have a failed marriage, you're good enough. You're a good parent. You're a good mother. She says, you're a good daughter. Taking care of and helping and still continuing to be there and loving your aging parents. She goes, you're good enough. And it was just like God spoke to me. It's amazing, you guys, how today has worked out. My husband is doing whatever he wants with my son today. My son's birthday's tomorrow. And God is using this day for me, for a day of rest and reflection and a day of me being able to um, just get the things done to help my soul. And um, I'm just feeling very blessed. Thank you guys for joining me today. Hey, I thought I would um, talk to you guys real quick while I am eating my lunch from Chick-fil-A. I am now at Ross, TJ Maxx, and Home Goods, and Target is right over there. I thought I might try these places and see if I can find any gaming stuff for my son for his bedroom. Tomorrow when I pick up my son for his birthday, I have his room all cleaned up tonight and decorated and kind of give him a little bedroom makeover for his birthday. Um, right now I want to make a confession. It's a very serious um, confession. I've only been to Chick-fil-A several times and I love it, but I have never had a chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A. You guys, I have always had the salad, the market salad with the chicken. This is good. This is really good. If I buy anything in any of these stores, I will do a haul and show you what I get. I'm really trying to focus only on my nine-year-old son whose birthday is tomorrow. So... Um, if I go to Target, I'm probably going to get me a Starbucks coffee. It says today is treating myself day. And um, something that happened at Chick-fil-A that I guess I could say is they were kind of out of order with their cars. And so the manager's out there trying to direct traffic and try to keep people in pace in line because, you know, how those lines are at Chick-fil-A. But she was very calm, very, very sweet. And um, she said please and thank you to the people inside when she was standing outside. And I said, oh, I'm sorry you're having a bad day. She goes, I don't know what happened, but um, the lines just kind of got mixed up a little bit and out of order. So she wanted to verify my name and um, one of the things is um, I said well I hope that God will bless you today for the rest of your day and um, she said thank you and I was thinking you know it's really nice to be able to say God bless you or have a blessed day um, I used to be afraid to do that. I used to be afraid to say Jesus' name out in public. And I can tell you, since my divorce, since my husband left me, I have um, gotten so strong in my faith with Christ that I am shouting his name from the mountaintop. It doesn't matter where I'm at. I'm sure when I go into Ross, I'll say, God bless you. Have a blessed day. Because I just really feel like God is using me. He wants me to, um, to stand up for my faith right now. 
in everything I do in my life. Make decisions for him. I got my shirt on. It says his grace is enough. I used to be embarrassed. Very shy. Um, God has given me the desire to witness. I really feel like time is short. And I've got two goals right now in my life. And that is to give God all the glory in everything, every part of my life. Even if it is just going to the store. He wants me to witness to other people and to my family. He wants me to witness to my ex-husband if he watches these videos. I don't know if he does or not. I want to, um, God wants me to witness to my children. God wants me to set the example, do what God says in the word. So when I'm telling my kids, God hates divorce. God wants you to love your spouse. And I'm teaching my sons how to be fathers, godly men. I want to set that example. I want my boys to know that this is what God says. And you are to do it if you want to call yourself a Christian. God has really just laid it on my heart to be a witness to everybody here on YouTube, especially. Just because I'm a Christian doesn't mean I don't struggle. I don't have trials. I don't have problems in my life, like a broken family and a broken marriage. God says, I have you where I want you. I'm working on you. I'm working on your life. I'm going to put it all back together again. You are enough. You're beautiful. You're loved by me. God doesn't make mistakes. And shopping for my son now, today, for his birthday tomorrow. That's what I'm doing for him. I'm saying, I'm going to spend the money, even if I don't have it. I'm going to get you what you want for your birthday, or what I think you would want for your birthday. I love you. You are worthy of sacrifice. You know, that's what I wanted in my marriage, my husband to show me he loved me. I wanted him to sacrifice. I wanted him to tell people that he gets his advice from, no, I love my wife. I want to be with my wife. My wife and I are one. We make all decisions together. He didn't do that. But I think that's what a Christian marriage and family and mother and father, that's how they are to be with their children. That's how they are to be with each other and with God. Listen to God's commandments and follow it. If you want to call yourself a Christian, that's what you're commanded to do. Follow Christ. Okay, I'm going to finish my food. I'm going to go in there, go shopping. I'll let you guys know what I get. This video is probably getting longer and longer. I'm just relaxing today. I have really no big plans. I would like to get home at a certain time to have the time I need to uh, do things for my son um, for tomorrow morning when I pick him up. So, um, I'll bring you guys along. Here we go. Home goods over there, all together. And then I've got Target way over here. I'm happy that all the stores are together. So 
Let's see what we can find. Okay, guys, <laughs> I did it again. Oh, spending way too much money. I haven't gone shopping in forever. I've really tried hard to not spend a whole lot of money unless it was online shopping for Christmas. And uh, so now it did myself again. <coughs> I'm going to show you guys what I've got real quick. Um, not everything I got is for my child. Some of it is for my daycare. So, um, Dr. Seuss coloring book at five and below I got for um, my daycare. I got a um, calligraphy pen set, a journal for me, the planner actually. It's um, very, it's blank, so I can use it whenever I need it. And I really needed a nice one. And for five dollars, you guys, I really love the outside of that planner. And for my daycare, I got a sleeping, uh, sleepy dog book. Um, it's very, very simple. I want to be the new reading teacher at the daycare, so I have been buying some stuff here and there. So I can be a good reading teacher. Oh, um, for my son's birthday tomorrow, I got him a blank sketch pad, just blank pages. And um, I got this highlighting marker set. I thought I would be able to use um, and then maybe divide some of this with my son so he can have some for a sketchbook. And then with the sketchbook, I got this um, wooden tray um, adjustable artboard so he can tear off his pages. Um, he's got pencils at home and coloring pencils and regular pencils. So he'll be able to, um, you know, do all the sketching he wants to do. He's um, kind of gotten really talented with his drawings lately and I want to encourage him to keep doing that. His father is a very good um, artist. I am not. I had always wished in my marriage that my husband would draw more because he was so good and um, I, I just can't even draw a stick person. So um, for my daycare I got some puzzles at five and below. They're spelling fun and words and sounds so I think this will be really good for um, teaching them how to spell cat C A T so I'm gonna have to start from the beginning because some of these kids don't even know their letters or ABC's one two threes so we'll see how that goes I also got for my son's birthday some um, LED sconces for his wall in his bedroom I was going to try to make over his bedroom and um, I am looking for a rug and I went to Ross and I'm not going to lie you guys, Ross really really disappointed me. They didn't have hardly anything and the rugs that they did have wouldn't have matched my son's room. They had no gaming stuff. Um, most of everything they had there was decor for like a girl's room. So I was really disappointed in Ross. Um, most of the stores actually, even Target, I went to five and below. A lot of the stores look like they were just out of stuff. I guess because of Christmas. <coughs> At five and below, I got some numbers and letters for pre-K and kindergarten sight words. So I'll be able to help teach the kids that. I got my son an Uno game. He um, at the daycare he really enjoys playing uno with another kid there and i thought well I'm, i want to play uno with my son so i got him that i got him the um star wars baby yoda t 
t-shirt at five and below. I got a Star Wars poster from five and below. He's getting into Star Wars. And again, I wanna encourage him. I got a game over pillow and it is just so soft, you guys. I really like it. Um, I got him a bag of Krabby Patties and a bag of Sweetest Fish. Um, you guys, I'm telling you, I went crazy. I shouldn't have spent all this money. I got um, at Five and Below some confetti balloons. I have a balloon inflator at home that I bought for my uh, granddaughter's baby shower um, when she was going to be born and so um, I know that I can use that and I'll have to sit here and blow all this up on my own but with that I got this great big huge happy birthday balloon I'm going to go home I'm going to clean up his room wash the sheets on his bed and empty trash and just kind of blow up all these kinds of balloons and put them all over his room and then I'm going to wrap up his gifts and put them on, on his bed. Um, hey, you guys, I was going to get these off of Amazon and Five and Below had them. But they're the they're reusable sandwich bags. And they were only $3. There's a package of three. So, um, I love these. These are going to be for me for work. And I can use them over and over again. I got these um, Shapes Shuffle. I already have these wooden shapes at school so um i got the cards to go with it the girl that was in the class before me didn't hardly leave anything for the daycare and so um if you are a teacher you know it's your responsibility to get the things for your daycare for your classroom that you need and all that um, we do have a closet that i can go and i can look at and see if there's anything in the closet that I would want but you guys I don't have a whole I'm not making a lot of money I don't have a lot of money to be spending on this um, daycare and these kids in my classroom so I'm trying to use what I have luckily I used to make crafts and I used to sell a bunch of things and I'm a reseller so um, and I used to homeschool my son when he was in um, kindergarten, so um, during the pandemic. And therefore I have a lot of books and a lot of things that I can use um, for my classroom already. And I'm just using what I have at home and I still have a bunch I need to go through. And so I got that and then I got um, Target. Um, for the daycare, I didn't buy anything for my son at, the, at Target, but I did get the matching memory game. That's what I got at Target. Um, and I like it because it's got the big A and the little A, and so we can play these games. Um, this is so great for the daycare that I got some of these things. Um, I also got spelling bee blocks. So these are um, little blocks that I can use to spell out words like cat, son, dog. And um, this is really gonna help with their reading comprehension. They gotta know their letters in order to read. And so I'm excited. Um, I also have a game at home that I had for my son that I bought him for Christmas when I was homeschooling him. And it's kind of the same thing. It's a little block thing that's a game. It's got a card of a picture of like a dog. And then you put the letters D-O-G on it and they're little cardboard cards but kind of the same concept different kind of game and so I am so happy I kept it because now I'll be able to um, use it at the daycare and you know I didn't even know I was going to become a reading teacher at the daycare but I really feel like God has probably been prepping me for working with other people's kids um, and so I feel very blessed about that. Um, I got my son at Target a game over pajama set to go um, with his gaming room. So I hope he likes that. And then I can't.
can't help it, you guys. When I go to Ross, I always go back to their books. I was looking at books for the daycare, and I'm telling you, the shelves were bare. It, it just seemed like there was hardly anything out. But, um, you know, I'll just keep looking. The Ross is like one of the cheapest places for books, brand new books. Um, I can always find kids' books at the thrift store. So um, I didn't make it to the thrift store today to look for kid books, but um, I did get that one sleepy dog book at Five and Below. So I do have books at home, like I said, and I need to go through those. Um, at Ross, for $4, I got God is Within Her, She Will Not Fall. I love this. This is so nice. It's just a um, journal and it's got Bible verses in the corners. So this is going to be great for me to keep track of um, my notes as I'm reading through the Bible. And then, uh, let's see. So weird to talk to you guys when people are walking by. Um, for six dollars, this was a little bit more. For I know the plans, and you guys, this is a morning and evening devotional. So um, on one page, it will have the sun for the morning, and I can read this in the morning, and then before I go to bed, it's got. Isn't that cool? got the nighttime devotional. I'm just so excited. Um, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Ah, God is so good. Um, you know, for a couple bucks here and there, six dollars, I don't mind spending ten, twenty dollars on me and my spiritual walk with God. It's really something that I have been wanting um, is more devotional books. So you guys, it's getting dark. It's 4.30. Um, not going to lie, this shopping on a Saturday around people, I am used to staying home quite a bit. And staying home is... really got me um, irritated when I go out shopping around other people. <laughs> I don't have patience like I used to um, since before the pandemic. And I don't like being at home alone all the time. I am um, getting very active in um, getting out and about more. I have yet to go to a restaurant alone it inside by myself don't have the guts to do it and I think I know that guy beside me I think I went to church with him <laughs> a long time ago I don't know if that's him or not um so I just since my divorce, you guys, um, everything happened just so fast to me. Where my husband left, he's with someone else. He hasn't communicated with me even on why. And um, I'm just picking up the pieces. As I was getting my nails done today, I was talking to the lady doing my nails. Of course, she's speaking in Japanese and um, to her friends, but when she was speaking to me, she had perfect English, and I love that. I'm going to be going back to her every time I need to get my nails done. Um, it's right near my house, and God has really just blessed me with getting my hair cut today and my nails done, and even though I've spent more money on myself today than I probably should have, it's just been a great day. I didn't end up getting my Starbucks coffee. Um, that place was packed. And there was no way. I was just going to stand around and wait. Um, 
I am gonna go home and probably make me coffee. I'm gonna take me a bubble bath and I'm gonna do my son's room and watch a movie. Um, and I'm just gonna go to bed and get ready to pick him up in the morning. I'm gonna do my devotional tonight that I got. So excited. Um, I need to uh, work on a, my budget for the month. I am keeping track of all that also. And, um, you know, I've done my overspending for the month. I probably need to take, uh, really, I don't have anything in February to spend money on extra, no birthdays or anything. My mom's birthday is in March, so that would probably be the next one. Um, and uh, I'm super excited that I'm able to do this for my child and that I'm able to love um, this time to myself. I mean, you guys, I'm so tired from getting up early. If you saw my other video, you know I went to bed late last night and got up early this morning. I'm exhausted. I just feel like I have been drained. It might have been the massage I had. It was amazing. And the, um, just the pedicure of, um, just getting my nails all cleaned and, um, painted. So, you know, I, I don't know. Um, I feel very relaxed. I think that's pretty much why I'm so tired. I don't know why I'm losing my voice still, but um, the kids at the daycare say I sound like a man sometimes. Because I'll be yelling and I'll be like, Harper Jackson! <laughs> He's like, you sound like a man. What's wrong with your voice, Miss Carrie? <laughs> so, um, you know, this sickness and not feeling good continues. Tomorrow for my son's birthday, I think um, we're going to church and then we're going to be going to out to eat with grandma and grandpa. We're going to Chinatown and um, we are going to enjoy um, time together, go to main events and um, Enjoy the day um, celebrating the birth of my nine year old. My nine year old, you guys, I got pregnant with on my wedding night. <laughs> and um, it just seems like yesterday I was telling my husband I'm pregnant. <laughs> And um, the memories that I have of how happy we were as a family um, finding out that we were going to have a baby. My son completes our family. I have the sons from the previous marriage and... Um, My son completed our, our family, bringing um, my husband and I together. He was the glue to keep our family together. So uh, I'm gonna celebrate my family tomorrow. And I would do anything for my child, for his happiness, his love. show him how much I love him, work extra hard to provide a great birthday for him. So, um, I thank you guys for coming along with me today. It was amazing. Home now, almost home.
you guys for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye.